Welcome back to another Python in Excel video. We're going to talk about dataframe.clip. Before we talk about that, I will show you a formula equivalent. To do that, I'm using the Excel Labs add-in, the advanced formula environment, just so the text is a bit bigger and you can see what I'm doing. We're going to use a by row formula equals by row, by row. If I could type, that would help. And we are going to do by row over earnings over the income column. Okay, and we're going to create a Lambda function and the Lambda function will have a row parameter. We're going to use ifs and if the row is greater than 100,000, is that enough zeros? Well, then we're going to put 100,000. And if if the row is less than 50,000, it's going to be 50, 1, 2, 3, 000. And otherwise it's just going to be the row value got enough closing brackets. Yes, I have. And if I press control enter, it will put the formula there. You can see that for values of income that are above a hundred thousand, it's got a hundred thousand. And for values that are below 50,000, it says 50,000. Next, I will show you how to do exactly the same thing in a much simpler way with Python in Excel. We we'll do equals PY to create a Python cell. And then we will just select from the header all the way down to the bottom. And we will put dot clip. And we put the lower value first, 50,000, and the upper value second, 100, 1, 2, 3, 000, And it creates a data frame. And I do Control, Alt, Shift, and M. And you can see that the results are exactly the same. It turns out that dataframe.clip is useful in calculating tax based on income and a table of tax brackets. First of all, let's look at how we might do it. And this is just one way. But let's look at how we might do it with an Excel formula. Let's start with let. I'm using the advanced formula environment again. I'm going to define a function called tax calculator, and that will be a lambda function with one parameter of income. And it will sum the result of by row. And by row will be over the tax rates. And the second parameter of by row is a lambda function and itself is one of the rows in the tax rates table. So we'll call that R for brevity. And in there, we want to extract the individual values of lower, upper, and rate. And we'll do that like this. We'll say low is index of R, the first column, and high will be, again, index of R, the second column, and the rate is index of R, the third column. Finally, we're going to use ifs again. We're going to check if the income is greater than high, then return high minus low times rate. Next, if the income is greater than low, then return income minus low times rate. Otherwise, just return zero. So that is a lot of closing brackets. Uh, we go all the way down. This is the close of the tax calculator function. Now we just need to apply that tax calculator function to every income in the earnings table. And we can do that with by row. And we can say earnings income. And that will calculate all the tax for all the incomes of all the people in the earnings table. Okay, let's see how we can do the same thing with Python in Excel. I'm using the Python editor from the Excel Labs add-in just to make things a bit clearer. We are going to start by defining a data frame that holds the earnings table. So I type df equals and then Excel and earnings. I want to type all because I want to get the headers as well. And then I want headers equals true. So that's the data frame for the earnings table. We want the same thing for the tax rates table and Excel, it will be tax rates hash all. Headers equals true. So that's two data frames. I am going to calculate a new column for the earnings table called tax. So first we can initialize that column by creating a new column called tax and set it equal to zero. For each row in the income column, we want to iterate over each of the tax rates so that we can calculate the tax that is payable for each bracket for each income. The one way we can do that is with a for loop. 
And we can do it like this in df tax rates dot iterose. The reason I've got that underscore there is because if you use iterose, it will give you the row index as the first parameter. And the second parameter will be the row itself. So I'm not interested in the row index. So I've just set it to an underscore as a placeholder. The row itself will be passed into this R um, value variable, I should say. So first I'm going to get the lower uh, value from the lower column on the current row. This is very much similar to the way that we did it with the Excel formula and it will be R dot upper and the rate will be R dot rate. So to calculate the tax, we can operate on the entire tax column all at once. And we can say df.tax equals df.tax because it's already starting at zero plus, and we'll put df.income.clip low, high, and minus low times rate. So when we're iterating over the tax rates, let's say we're on the first row of the tax rates table, this operation will clip, clip the income on zero and 50,000, and it will multiply whatever is there by 0 0.1. And then on the next row, it will clip the income on 50,000 and 100,000. It will subtract 50,000 and then multiply it by 0 0.2, so on and so forth until it's finished calculating the tax. And if we put DF at the bottom, that will be what is shown in the spreadsheet. So if I press control enter and scroll over a little bit, and we can see that the tax has been added to the income table. Now, if we just wanted to return the tax column, we could just put df.tax there. So this is one way of doing it, but let's try and trim this code down to make it simpler and more concise. The first thing that we can do is note that this way of adding something to an existing value is a bit verbose, it's unnecessary. We have an operator where we can put the plus before the equals and it will achieve the same thing. So let's do that. The second thing to note is that these variables, upper and rate, are only used once here. So I'm not going to create variables for them. Let's change that to r.upper directly in there. And this can be r.rate directly in there. And we will be able to then get rid of that line and that line. Now, low is used twice, but we don't need to define it on a separate line. We can actually use what's called an assignment operator to define it in line uh, as long as we define it in the first place that it's used. And the way that works is like this. We put a colon and equals, and then we can put r.lower here. Now that has assigned r.lower to the name low, which can then be reused here without having to refer back to the row to get r.lower again, which means I can get rid of that. And this will all then do the same thing. One last way that we can simplify this is by getting rid of this for loop and using what's known as a generator expression instead. Um, we can take this expression. This is the expression essentially that calculates the uh, tax. And we can copy that. And instead of having this for loop, we're just going to put um, sum. And we're going to sum over the expression. Well, that's the expression. And instead of the for loop, we're going to use the generator syntax, which is very similar in df tax rates dot iterows. And that really is it. We've looked at a few formulas. We've looked at dataframe.clip and we've seen a few ways of using Python to calculate tax over a table of tax brackets. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.